Hello, my name is Mariah Contreras, and this is a tribute to the Zuni Native American tribe. Located along the Zuni River Valley, in which is now known as New Mexico, the Zuni people are believed to have been farmers in their present location for about 3,000 to 4,000 years. The area encompasses approximately 450,000 acres, 150 miles west of Albuquerque. It is a hot and dry desert climate with plateaus. The Zuni community was small and close-knit until the 12th century when the Spanish explorers invaded. From then on, the population boomed and much change occurred. In 1540, Spanish explorers encountered the Zuni natives living in six or seven large pueblos along the Zuni River. Today, they are all in ruins. The Zuni natives lived in adobe brick houses called pueblos. Adobe houses were made of mud and straw mixed together and dried to make a strong brick-like material. Pueblo people stacked these bricks to make the walls of the house. Gaps between bricks were filled with more mud to block the wind, rain, and to keep out bugs and pests. Originally, Zuni men wore breech cloths, which wasn't much clothing at all. Zuni women wore knee-length cotton dresses called mantas. A manta was tied at the woman's right shoulder. Zuni people called themselves a shiwi, or shiwi ma, which means the Zuni way. Zuni was the name given to them by the Spanish explorers. The name for Zuni is shiwi. The Zuni or shiwi language was passed down through the generations like their very vibrant culture and traditions. Traditional Zuni religion consists of daily respect for nature, ancestors, and animals. These pictures show kachina dolls. A kachina is a spirit, and the dolls are made to represent that spirit. Some Zuni people dress up and dance as kachina dancers at religious ceremonies. A kachina can represent anything from an ancestor to an element, and many other ideas or concepts. Although they aren't worshipped, the message of a kachina is to respect every object in the world because everything has an essence or life force. Originally, Zuni women made pottery to store food and water. The clay pottery was also made to give thanks to the Earth Mother in religious rituals. These clay pots were decorated in symbols of the different Zuni camps. Pottery is a major source of income for Zuni people today. The crops sometimes stored inside these pots included corn, beans, squash, as well as cotton and tobacco. Also, the Zuni men hunted deer and antelope and small game. Traditional Zuni life is centered around a clan system with ceremonies dedicated to their belief in the ancestors. Today, Zuni tribal government is run by the governor, lieutenant governor, and the tribal council members. The present governor is Val R. Pantea and Lieutenant Governor Bertina Sanchez. Although there is no specific number for the early Zuni population, when Spanish explorers arrived, they found six or seven pueblos. Today, there are 6,302 Zuni natives as of the most recently taken census. This beautiful tribe, like many other tribes, is often overlooked by society and is more than worthy of being paid tribute to.